So Alexander Music is being inspiring more guys and sending more guys home. Um, has been importantly sent many of his sparring partners packing as details of the Ukrainian's brutal gym wars have been revealed in preparation for his rematch with Anthony Joshua next month. Uzik has left no stone unturned as looking dangerous in training. Kazakh heavyweight prospect Nur Sultan Amansilov has been sparring Uzik for the second camp running according to his manager Amir Ali. The cat's looking extremely spiteful and leaving no prisoners in sparring. He, Amansilov, says there are days that Uzik goes to war with him. It's not easy to hurt Nur Sultan but he's been on the receiving end a few times. But a lot of his heavyweights have been sent back home and they can't stay in camp, Ali told Sky Sports. They can't keep up. So yeah, more more sparring. Don't really know much about uh, a man's love. I've heard his name getting pied about now and again. He's um, a 29-year-old Kazakh guy, six foot two and a half. He's fought, um, he's, he's fought four times. Uh, Guys, I'm not even going to try and butcher these guys' names. Pavlo, Krolenko, Edgars, Kalnars, Drazin, Jan Yanin, and, uh, <laughs> so, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, uh, Seaman Pak Homov. Seaman Pak Homov. Yep. Um, and yeah, some of the records aren't great. His, his first opponent... One and two, and then second opponent twenty seven forty eight and one, third opponent twenty thirty and zero, and then Seaman was two wins sixteen losses. So yeah, but I mean, if he's if he's managing to keep up and putting the work in with uh, Alexander Ruzic, that's that's brilliant news. You know, uh, continues to say. Um, Ali, uh, he said, as soon as Uzik came up back from Jeddah from the press conference, the day he arrived back, he phoned up Nur Sultan, who was sitting in his hotel room, and said, I oh, want you sparring today. Literally got off his plane and started sparring straight away. And Amansalov said he was in a foul mood. He was really, he was a really angry mood and wanted to go to war. He said, over three amateur fights, so he's a really, really tough kid and he can take a lot of punishment. Ah, so is that. Mansilov is a three three hundred amateur fights. Uh, yeah, sounds like um he's a professional record doesn't doesn't tell the story then. So yeah, I was I was reading that he's you know, it's like uh, he's trying to get uh a Mansilov to push him harder, he's like even though it's brutal training, he's saying, Come on, come after me man, come after me. Um, and I was also looking, uh, we saw uh, a war between Chris Billum Smith and uh, Isaac Chamberlain last night. And yeah, what, what a war that was. And uh, if I can get this article back up, he's been there, uh, he's been on it. Alexander, his sp uh, sparring partner, feared he was going to get killed at Erie training base. That uh, you know, connotations of it's like you know, he's he's, you know, stoic. Um, you know, stoic. You know, war torn. Um, you know, all of the above. Communistical times. Um, Isaac Chamberlain. I'm, <laughs> I'm Isaac Chamberlain. What am I talking about? Isaac Chamberlain claims. He thought he was going to get killed and he gave a rare insight to what it was like training at Alexander Uzik's gym. Up until the recent Russian invasion of Ukraine, Uzik trained out of his country's Olympic Institute, of which little is known. Chamberlain was brought up to spar the cat for two camps as Uzik's former headquarters and gave an eerie relocation re, uh, recollection of his journey to the isolated facility Speaking of uh, speaking to ID Box, and he said, literally in the middle of nowhere, it was weird. I thought uh, I started seeing animals and stuff. It was literally in the middle of nowhere. I remember I got into the car from the airport and drove like two hours, and no street lights. And I was thinking I was gonna get killed here, bruv. I'm just thinking him. He's just in there with like a bloody bag over his head. Um, 
But yeah, that's uh, that's Isaac Chamberlain. He uh, I think he did quite well against Chris Bell Smith as well yesterday. So um, even though even though he did lose and he just seemed to start fading, he was doing good in the middle rounds. I think uh, Chris Bell Smith started so fast. Um, but yeah, what what else have we got here? Um, yeah, he's been going to. Uh, going off on a tangent but yeah Uzik's been in uh, sparring with Amansilov um, but Amansilov's manager Amir Ali claims that Uzik's been even more intense in training with his no-nonsense approach resulting in many other workout partners being sent home um, yeah so more more good news uh, sparring's going well you know um, tough cookie to break Uh you guys let me know what your thoughts on uh, if you've got any more insight into music sparring, uh, any more stories that we can sort of uh, take bets from and, and, and try and piece together, you know, a more precise game plan on how he's going to war, etc. I mean, very, very intriguing. Um, so, yeah, like I said, love you guys. Uh, remember, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all soon.